A colorful parade of students marched through the streets of Shuzel on Friday to promote math education and encourage physical fitness. The event, organized by District 7 Mathematics Coordinator Gerald Butt, brought together 11 primary schools and two secondary schools for, quote, math walk, end quote, from Massey Stores Lafargue to Shuzel Village. Butt said the event was inspired by the need to improve math performance in the district. This work is a work that culminates a whole month of activities that we had during the month of November. So we have decided to bring all the schools together. We have 11 primary schools and two secondary schools. We have decided to bring them together in a great work that is going to sensitize the children and motivate them towards the area of mathematics, which, which is an area that requires a lot of work since performance in that area is always below the other subjects. So today you can see they are all excited to be here and we are walking from Marcy Lafag down to the Schrozel village. Each school participated by creating banners and placards that depicted different mathematic concepts. Saltibus Combined School, for example, focused on 3D shapes. Emmanuel Osman, the math coordinator at Saltibus, said the event was a great way to showcase the importance of math. This is one of the subjects that is important for our students and indeed we are proud to host this work. In fact, um, the Salty Bus Combined School has um, many subjects and we say special subjects as well, um, including theatre, arts, music, um, Creole language, which is introduced um, um, recently in September. And in fact, last year the school was um, very proud and the EO in the district was proud as well, knowing that Salty Bus was able to um, go over the national mean. And that placed us at a position in the national um, CPA exam. So we are very proud and I'm certain that persons uh, looking at Saltibus as one of the top schools in the district. And we are performing extremely well in everything that we um, want to accomplish. The work also promoted physical activity, which is important for students' health and well-being. Kay Clark Nicholas, the education officer for District 7, said the event was a great way to get students moving. And the event is threefold in so many ways. We're looking at physical fitness, we're endorsing math and community. And so I'm hoping that this morning we will have some fun on the road as our children walk through the village of Shrozel. As the education officer, I want to endorse this work. I think it is an excellent initiative by our mathematics com committee and also the fitness that it will have on our children this morning. As we know, most times our children, they don't walk to school. They take a bus from very short distances. And so this work will engage them and their bodies to ensure that they remain fit. Mathematics scores among Institution Primary School students showed notable gender disparities in the 2024 Caribbean Primary Exit Assessment, CPEA, with female students outperforming their male counterparts by nearly six percentage points. Female students achieved a mean score of 73.09% in mathematics, while male students averaged 69 9.84% according to results released by the Ministry of Education. The mathematics scores marked a significant improvement from 2023, jumping from 75.92% to 78.98% overall. The subject demonstrated one of the starkest contrasts between internal and external assessments, with students scoring an average of 91.36% on internal components, but only 62.12% on external examinations. Education Ministry officials recommended strengthening research methodology and student expression skills to further improve performance, across all subjects. Gina Filippi, HDS News Force.